400 meter marker. Worship dancer is at the back of the field early on. Sarissa in the blue silks, the first to go. Eco Storm, a known front runner with the blue cap, now goes off to lead them. They are followed by Emperor Niarchos. Kentucky Guest is on the outside. Pioneer Spirit has the white noseband, blue sleeves. Be with me, the second grey in the race is about five lengths off the leader. Then Seeking the Dream, Worship Dancer and Supersede. And Great Rumpus is the trailer. And Great Rumpus gives them about eight or nine lengths start. They're going behind the drill all 1,700 meters to go. Eco Storm by two. Sarissa is second. Kentucky Guest third. And Emperor Niarchos at the rail fourth. On the outside, Pioneer Spirit Seeking the Dream. Then Be With Me. Further back is Worship Dancer and Supersede. Great Rumpus in the back seat now, seven lengths off the leader. 1,300 meters to go. And Eco Storm sets the fractions. In second, Sarissa, Kentucky Guest the Grey. Emperor Niarchus the Green Cap. Then Be With Me. Seeking the Dreamers near the rail, about eight lengths off the leader. Eco Storm has suddenly opened up in the front end. They are followed then by Pioneer Spirit, Worship Dancer, Supersede, Great Rumpus is the trailer, and that's now about 15 lengths off the leader. Eco Storm, 5 lengths to the good. In second is Sarissa, then Kentucky Guest, they've closed it down to 3. Further back in the run, Be With Me, Emperor Niarchos, and they are followed then by Pioneer Spirit. Super Seed Worship Dancer and Great Rumpus, 9 or 10 lengths off the leader. Eco Storm has come back to its field by a length. In second, Sarissa. Kentucky Guest, Be With Me, Emperor Niarchos, Pioneer Spirit. Down the inside, Seeking the Dream, top of the lane. Sarissa moves up to Eco Storm and takes it up. Then Kentucky Guest, Be With Me, Great Rumpus down the inside is going to have to pick up and supersede the outside. But Sarissa's gone clear at the 200. And it's Sarissa by two or three. Great Rumpus is closing it down now. Sarissa, Great Rumpus coming with a storming effort on the inside. Great Rumpus came from nowhere to win a half length. Second Sarissa, Emperor Niarchos. Seeking the dream and supersede. Tote favorite number six, Great Rumpus, three ran 30, came from the tail of the field. And when Sarissa hit the front, and at the 200, still had four or five lengths to make up. And he makes it up. He goes one better today. He was runner-up in his last two. And you'll see the rider, Alec Forbes, still poses at the line. Wins a half length. Second to Sarissa. Third placing. It's about four lengths back. Emperor Niarchos. And then Seeking the Dream. Super Seed. Worship Dancer. Eco Storm. Pioneer Spirit. Be with me, Kentucky Guest. So the winner was the toad favorite at 3.30. We'll take a look at that head-on, and you'll see Great Rumpus on the left-hand side, the yellow cap. It's a fourth win from 34 outings. This one for Frank Robinson. And has to get to Sarissa, but still no stick. Now he changes the stick to his left hand. At the same time, Sarissa is starting to st uh, stop a little bit, but Great Rumpus is finishing on and gets up to win that half length. Until race six, back to the studio. A good result here for trainer Frank Robinson, settling the first and third past the post. But it's great Rumpus who's been in good form. His last two runs, he's finished in the number two box. Well done to all the owners here. I see uh, uh, Frank, uh, the guys, uh, the Volsums, the Windy, and uh, the boys. I'm sure they would have watched this race. And uh, they've stuck with the source, and uh, they're good guys from Peter Marisburg that enjoy their racing, don't they? Yeah, good. They're very passionate, and uh, they don't put any pressure on me. They don't, you know, ask me when they're running. I tell them, and Winds has been with me. You know, he's running in the winter, the source. I mean, he got beat five links, I think, in the, the, the Lonsdale. 
And a couple of the guys said, no, nah, they want to get out of him, but, you know, they think he's in his place. So I ended up taking, I owned like 95% of him. And Wendy stuck in with me, so I gave him three months off, and he was a bit jointy, but he's come back, you know, nice now, and he's actually thriving at the moment. He's been working very well, and I thought he would have the measure of this field. I was a bit worried around the turn because they, you know, they eased it up, and a bit of a muddling pace, with a strong tailwind. When he turned to straight, I mean, he had 12 lengths to make up, and he won going away, so no, I'm very happy. You also gave uh, Emperor Nyakos a mention, and he was a creditable uh, third since Frank. Yeah, he was he was travelling a bit well. You know, the pace wasn't strong enough for him. If they went a bit quicker, I think it'd been more in the race. He was tugging a bit there in third, but you know, he likes the pace at us. But also another good run. Can't complain. First and third, I'm happy. Well done to yourself, and please give our best to Wendy. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this will pep him up nicely. Yeah, I told him to have a bet this morning, so maybe he's made a few rand. So I'm happy for him. Well done, Frank. Thanks a lot. Well done. Let's get uh, Alec Forbes in and he's going to tell us a bit more because it was a well-timed win here. The judgment was superb. I mean, you got this uh, 100% on the button because Frank mentioned a muddling pace. Initially, in, in, the horse Echo Storm seemed to be going well then ease it up before you guys turn into the straight. Uh, you know, these, that, that first 1,200 meters we went, we crawled. We went very slow for uh, this class of horse. And, um, you know, I, I was a bit worried because, you know, I was at the back and, and you have to leave him there. It's not like you can loop the field with this guy because then uh, he'll give it to you all then and nothing at the finish. And, um, but then turning for home, the guy started pulling off the rail because they did his in front. I don't know if it was steadied or, or what the problem was. Or I couldn't see. And uh, I was able to go down the inside and I got a dream run. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I've ridden this horse once before because I knew him and I knew that, uh, you know, if you, if you just wait on him a little bit, he'll give you everything he's got. And uh, that's what he did. And he got up where it mattered. Great visuals coming through on the head on. You, you had to change your chip, your whip at around the 200 and he gave you another kick. That's, that's correct. He's, he, was, he, was, he was giving me so much as it was. And then he started drifting towards uh, the horse and I didn't want to end up running behind into the back of that horse. And I had to change my whip and, uh, and he changed legs and he gave me a little bit more. Great ride, uh, Alec. Uh, we've got a, a few more races left. You, you like anything else left? Uh, Dees, I've got two more rides left, uh, and they're both in with, 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 a, with a chance. Um, race seven, I, I ride for Alistair. They fully ran third last time out. And, uh, Syringa. Uh, Syringa, yes. And she's, she's, looking to, look, she's looking to run another decent race today. And then uh, Lobelia in the last. Um, she, has a, she has an undeniable chance. Uh, unfortunately, the ha handicapper has hammered her in her last two starts. He's given her eight points for running second and second. But, um, you know, I think she's decent and, and, and she could have the measure of them there. The distance will suit her nicely as well, Alec? Oh, absolutely. You know, Deez, uh, ultimately she's going to go 10 furlongs, but uh, this should be good for her. Nice ride here. Well played. Thanks, Deez. Alec Forbes, thank him for his comments with regards to his two runners to come. But the Volsoms will be celebrating here. Number six. Great Rumpus has come through to win race number five, six, two, five, and ten. If you caught this quartet in the sixth. Patrons, please note new starting time for race six, 15:45. 15:45 is the new starting time for race six.